Hello. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, part of the Flick Nation here, the Team Flick. Uh, we're here, we're doing it live uh, outside today, going old school, holding the camera myself here. But it was such a beautiful day, so I wanted to, wanted to get on outside here. Um, but quick update on what's been going on in Summit County here. We've got a few things really exciting happening uh, throughout Colorado, but uh, really affecting Summit County here. And that is short-term rentals. You know, that's been the biggest question, question that I think will be affecting real estate for the future here is what is going on with short-term rentals and the uh, stay on short-term rentals here in Colorado has been lifted as of uh, June 1st, which was Monday. And so we're a couple days in here. And, you know, I think that that's really good news for a lot of folks uh, who are coming on out here to, to want to take a visit. If you want to come out and take a look at property, it's going to make it a little bit easier. You know, we've been using a lot of technology, but being able to facilitate those showings in person uh, will help. There's a lot of strict guidelines around that, um, and, you know, we'll, we're going to want to pay attention to those guidelines for cleaning and making sure that uh, the properties are safe for everybody to stay in. But uh, yeah, short-term rentals are back. And how is that going to affect the real estate market? Well, you know, we've been talking about it for a, a while now. It, you know, how long is the stay on short-term rentals going to last? And that's been my big question because uh, short-term rentals were uh, cut off or canceled mid-March, right? And so most uh, second homeowners who depend on short-term rental income we had pretty nice bank accounts at that point in the year, able to last uh, through the mud season and having them be able to come back. I think, you know, we're not going to see people in financial trouble, really, uh, because everybody's expecting to have to carry a little bit of the weight of their property through the summertime. And so here we are now, uh, short-term rentals, we're going to start generating cash flow again. And so I think that that's uh, overall good news uh, for the market up here. And you know, we hope to be able to see a lot of you who had plans to come on out and visit us here uh, this coming summer. We hope to see you still. So pretty excited about that. Um, let's take a look at what the numbers are saying this week. Um, so we had new, 77 new listings come on the market. Uh, we had 61 pending, um, which is kind of equivalent to what we saw last week, almost a mirror image by uh, one or two properties. So 77 new, 61 pending. So properties are definitely moving off the market here. Um, we've had a couple of clients who have just missed out on, on one or two properties. So if you see something that you like, certainly let us know and we'll We'll try and make it happen, get in there, do a video tour, or whatever we have to do to help you out and find that perfect property. Um, you know, inventory wise, we're still low. So if you're a seller, um, please come to the market <laughs> sometime soon because we do need more inventory here. Uh, May, to, so let's take a look at where we ended May uh, on Sunday. We ended with 1,032 uh inventory active listings which is up just a little bit um, may 2019 we ended at 934 so about a hundred more listings this year in the residential space than we had last year at the same time right now today we're at 1090 or excuse me 1051 um, and we ended june last year with 1095 so uh, we're kind of on par with where we were last year. No huge changes, although we seem to be on pace for a little bit higher inventory than we did last year, but nothing terribly drastic. So uh, again, if you're a seller, please, uh, please come to the market. We've got buyers waiting in the wings, just waiting for your property to come on or uh, in the perfect property. So uh, give us a call nonetheless. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions about anything we're doing here and, uh, you know, what's the market doing, want to get a little bit deeper into numbers, movement, um, you know, showing stats, things like that, certainly let us know. We have access to a lot of great data here uh, that we're monitoring on a daily basis so that we can stay on top of the market here for you. So uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, leave us a comment, teamflick at summitliving.com. Hope you're all having a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.